and Rachel Buwal, a licensed professional teacher, your Kama Isra, and I'm currently teaching of one of the college institutions here in Bahal. So for today's video, we will tackle, discover, and share different insights from our co-teachers on how to cope for those challenges and difficulties in delivering their instructions during the new normal. So, let's start! Hello, my name is Iris Iranera and I'm currently teaching in Tagbilaran City College and I'm handling business English um, and NSTP2 for tourism students. So as for the first question, knowing that we experience adjustment on new teaching learning delivery under new normal education system, as an instructor or teacher, have you experienced challenges or difficulties in delivering your lesson to your students? Uh, for this question, of course, um, all of us, all of the teachers handling um, different levels, not only in college, not only in TCC, or but with the other teachers as well, we have different challenges as we go along the way. So as for me, um, my great problem in terms of the modular, modular or like the online, online learning is that some students, um, they're not really have the quick access on their learning modules or maybe deliverables although like it's online they preferred online but not all the time they can answer it right away because they are just like living outside the city so the connection might be very like bad yeah we can't deny the fact and as for, can you share with our viewers your coping strategies on how to cope with these challenges? So, I always um, upload my deliverables ahead of time and post constant announcements or like reminders for them to, uh, to not only to view it but also to finish and complete their task uh, before the computation of the grades so that we will uh, we will not have any problem with it so for the last one what can uh, what can you advise or some inspiring words to motivate our co-teachers and especially to the students that also greatly affected that are also like greatly affected due to the changes so as for my co-teachers um, I hope you find the fact still find the passion and commitment to really pursue teaching and putting your best foot forward even if it even if it's really difficult to to reach out with some students i know your um dedication to your work will greatly help on how you manifest or how you deliver your content lesson contents even through online and for the students i hope they would still continue and appreciate the efforts of their teachers because on the students' part, it, it is difficult really, but also with the teachers' part, I hope they, all, they would also understand that one. It's like every single person, not only for the students, but also with the teachers, we are adjusting a lot on the changes or like the shift from the traditional learning to an online learning. So, so far, that would be all, and thank you. Hi. As an instructor, it is very obvious that I have also experienced difficulties and challenges. So, one of my coping strategies is that uh, being happy, so enjoying what is at the moment, and, and everything that I do is I always include happiness. So, for example, I am teaching. I need to set in my mind that it is a job as well as a passion. So, when I do activities, I always put happiness there and also keep in mind that it is an enjoying job and also I am enjoying all the activities that I have given to my students. 
So I have read a quote from Mark Van Doren, and it says, the art of teaching is the art of assisting discovery. So as a teacher, we need to be kind and considerate to our students because not everyone has the same level of comprehension and understanding. And now let's keep in mind and in our heart that being a teacher is a fulfilling job. It's a very satisfying feeling when you see your students looking up at you, listening at you, and smiling because of you. So always remember, we need to be considerate and kind to our students. So that's all. Thank you. Okay, good evening. So as an instructor or teacher, do I have an experience or challenges or difficulties in delivering my lessons to my students? So of course... We are in a completely different environment and setting because due to the pandemic. So unlike for the pandemic, we had face-to-face -face classes. Now we only have online classes, and modules. So challenges in delivering lessons includes uh, slow internet connectivity, not as to us teachers, but also to our students and unexpected power outages especially the typhoon that affected greatly our province so this doesn't this does really affect us teachers and students so students cannot submit on time due to the fact that they have no electricity at that time some other times they are working scholars so they cannot submit on time and to our part as teachers, uh, that requires more understanding and patience, uh, really patience. Yes, so can you share with our viewers your coping strategies and how you com cope with those challenges you've experienced? So all I can say is that not only to uh, as a student, but also to every working individual. So time management is very important. It is essential in accomplishing such tasks or other assignments. It is the only way that you can manage when or what to do with your due activities or work. So students don't hesitate, hesitate to ask uh, questions or what you have in mind about the subject to your teachers because it is our responsibility to help you develop your curiosity or what you want to know about the subject so don't hesitate to ask us and if there is something in mind you can share it to us maybe not financially but you can share it to us so time is very important so make good use of it and for closing remarks it it's not that life is unfair to us, or to him, or to her, or to other people. Life is unfair to everyone. So, well, that makes us all fair. That's it, thank you. Hi, Mom Jaya! So, what can you advise for those students that experience difficulties and challenges in the new teaching and learning delivery? So it is really inevitable to uh, not face changes because changes has been happening constantly, especially now that the modality of our education has also changed. So they have to uh, persevere and adapt to the changes that happens, be uh, resilient and also put their selves in the pedestal and just go with the also, as a teacher, we need to make sure that we have a constant and open communication with our students. Despite the distance, they can still feel the love as their second parent. Hoping that one day we will go back to the new normal and continue to give an effective and a good quality of education to our students. I hope that you have learned something from this video, especially for those challenges and difficulties and how the teacher is coping with those mentioned. And I hope that we will not uh, tire in helping and supporting our learners to grow skilled and be knowledgeable and to be a competent and a human 
resource of our world for the betterment of everyone. So thank you for today's and bye. See you in the next video.